Hi there, it's Ken here from ClickSend Tech Support. Today we're going to be running over how you can get sending SMS with ClickSend. ClickSend accommodates all people with various skill levels, whether that be a beginner who might have a less technical background or a developer with a more advanced engineering background. Here are the three main ways that you can get sending with ClickSend. Each method requires an account and some registration steps. The first method, and possibly the easiest, is by going to clicksend.com, signing in, and sending a message directly through the dashboard. The second method is with integrations. We have various different ways that you can integrate your workflow with ClickSend, whether that be with other applications your business uses, or perhaps you want to achieve something by sending SMS. A lot of integrations can be set up quite easily with help from our support. The third option is ClickSend's API. If you're a developer, or if you have access to development resources, ClickSend's API offers a comprehensive suite of support for various coding languages. So if you go to our website and you click on the Developer tab, you'll be taken to our Developer Portal. This contains some of our SDKs, and most importantly, our API documentation, where you'll find different ways to communicate with our API for practically all of our services, and this can open up infinite use cases for you and your business. In the API documentation, you will also find our Postman collection. This contains an organized order of templates in various programming languages that you can use to hit different endpoints. If you don't see any programming languages that match your current code base, Postman has a setting which converts our templates to even more options than we display on our API documentation. Let's get started by sending an SMS using our SMS send endpoint. Firstly, you'll need your API credentials, which you can find in the ClickSend dashboard. It's located at the top right-hand corner of the taskbar. We'll go to the authorization section of Postman and we'll paste it where there's a username, put our username and the password, our API key. In this example, for the from address, I'm going to put a phone number I have recently purchased through ClickSend. If you're in a country that supports shared numbers, this is also an option. In the to field, I'm going to put the phone number I want the message sent to, and I'll type in the test message. And then I'll click submit, meaning send. Shouldn't take too long, and I've got my SMS message. If you ever get stuck with the terminology in the Postman collection, you can always refer to our API documentation. If you ever get blocked, if you ever get stuck, feel free to reach out to us at ClickSend Support. You can find us by going to clicksend.com or by logging into your dashboard and looking at the very bottom right hand side and you'll see the chat icon. If you give that a click, you can reach out to any of our support agents. We operate all around the clock 24 seven and we're always happy to help. By now you should have everything you need to get sending with ClickSend. You can do this by going on the website, integrations or using our API. If you found this video helpful, please let us know by reacting, commenting, and let us know what you'd like to see in future videos. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you later. ClickSend is business communications solved.